bad. Okay. I mean, hopefully there's nobody outside with a yeah. video camera. Can you just deal with it? What? No, this. Is this your new laptop? Wait, what? Is this your new laptop? It's a new, um... Is it replacing the bigger one, or is it just an alternative? Wait, it's, it's, it's just, just one of, it's a port, I have a portable one. I see. You still use the other one? Yeah, oh, I put a new desktop game computer at home. Oh, nice. Yeah, I should've gotten much better as a code is, but yeah, I, god damn it. That's the Um, I put like one game, and then I just get it. <laughs> One game and that's enough for me. Yeah. I, that's been how I played Civ ever since Civ 4. Yeah, I don't think it's I've been playing games lately. I mean, I played with StarCraft with Jacob and Sudan last night. Jacob Common? No, no, Jacob Barajo. Oh, oh, you still play StarCraft shit. Have you ever played any PvP for team? You know, I, mean, I just play like. Oh, that's personally. true. I'm not like particularly good, but okay. I actually did get better though. Okay, okay. I beat Jacob like 10 times in a row. 10 times. Oh, you play that much shit. Shit. Well, there are four games. Okay. Is it urban and junior I can get in this? Okay, sure. Damn. Good for a screen. Okay. I don't know. I was looking at this shit. So this is where they active. I think they light activate them, mm -hmm. and uh, and then they sort themselves probably. My my guess. So like there were a bunch of actually it's funny after the optical screening paper that we did, there were like I guess that paper scooped like six other papers. Scoop six. No, Scoop six other papers. Yeah. We didn't add. I mean, I'm sure some people were pissed, but. Why did Scoop then? What do you mean by Scoop? So, like, a lot of people were working on connecting optical phenotypes to yeah. full screens. Yeah. And, like, our paper. So, there's one. There's a video from Shao Wei Shuang that was, like, similar to ours, but, like, not as good. It's like creating a great blender before all the other is. Exactly. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, and they don't have any other wonders that are worth switching to. Okay. Yeah. Just crap the monitors. Yeah. Well, they have to put all the shields into like a battleship or something like that. Okay. But it like way overflows the battleship, so it's just like a huge frustrating waste. You know what I mean? Anyway. So I think this is yeah, this is not not good. Okay. Although I yeah, like the the other parts are a little well. A little bit more. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they ran my text treatment is. You ran my text treatment? Yeah, yeah. But the future tag or all the tag? All the tag. There's, there's a game mode that you do it. Like, the links are different? Or like the links are text? different. Wow. That's crazy. Does it make sense? Yeah. Well, I'm, it kind of does. I mean, someone has been posting about... I've been posting a lot of songs lately. It's been yeah, getting better again. It's actually better now than before. It was like a dip during the Trump years. Um, there was just a, there was just a dent general dip in like in the two thousands, but now it's better again. Um, wait, do they have any pictures of this the new tech team? Yeah, yeah. I'm really sorry I didn't print out the Civ two tech tree as a poster to before I left the road. That's not something I missed about the road. It's pretty posted. Oh yeah, what happened to that? Probably should have the road. Dude, I like my mood. It was yeah. like a minimalist. I said minimalism. You have to like throw it all away. Um, no, I mean I can stuff back, but like not that you survive. Yeah. Oh, that's true for a lot of people, god damn it. Be oh what what the fuck? Okay, they usually just get week three again. Did you re-release it? Yeah. Like HD? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, AOE 2 is having a reconnaissance. Yeah. 
So like, are there any games that you you enjoyed more than Six Days recently? I think I, I played Troy Total War. I think it was Troy Total War. Yeah, dude, at least a couple months ago, just for free for a um, day. Oh. Is it like a mid advance of the? It's evil? not a major advance. It's just more of a saga. So it's a mini. It's a mini game, but it's still pretty good. And remember Drum Heller? Oh yeah. Do you still live on the show? I have no fucking clue anymore. I mean, you you have, do you know the SP just sounds voter database? You know I recently looked at this, uh, no, I don't know about this. Yeah, so, Mr. wait, so, uh, let's see, wait, what's your first, la, la, first name again? Um, Lori? Yeah, sure. Uh, Puget Sound? I don't know, I bet you could just Google it. Okay, uh, yeah, that's true. Um, but I mean, you can look at the talent back. Yeah. Oh, well, this spot. There you go. You can see, you can see her address and her birth date. Really? <laughs> yes. Last voted in March. What? Wow. You get a lot. Where was she born? 1946. She's older than my dad. Or the theater. Wiggins. Paul. Oh. We're not there. Um, from the from the dub? Yeah. Uh, well, I think Baker. Might be way with two eyes. Okay. No, that's not, that can't be the case. No. Um, let's see, who else is that? Kent, um, Morgan, Ken. You could just, uh, oh, interesting. Okay, it actually switches. 1943. Wait, is this actually the same one? This is far. Maple Valley? But you don't think he, like, retired to. That might be true, who knows? Yeah, well. Um, I was from the let's see, who else is there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can basically see anyone's stuff. Um, yeah, I, look, I looked up I looked up DJ Badley recently. Oh yeah. And I guess after we left, they made him the head coach. Oh. And he was the worst of the football team. Okay. And he was the worst head coach ever. Like oh, he yeah. lost every single game for four years. Oh yeah. So they had to just like stop having him as the head coach because it was just too disappointing. Okay. Really, I don't know. I wouldn't have expected that, but this is one head coach. <sighs> you know any people who've been doing more recently? Um, I mean, I know one. I know one person, Goku Gori. He's at Harvard, just in file now. Oh. And then Dan Payson. She's she was Stan, She went to Stanford. They're good friends to each other. Uh, Goku didn't like Emery. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. Like Emery. I mean, substitute teachers delivered his exams for him. Remember those disasters? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I remember at one point he used to take the exam outside because it was just too distracting. Um. God, God, God. Uh, Hell yeah. no. You gotta, you gotta document everything else. Yeah, I know, I know. About how you feel about it. I know, I know, I agree with you. I don't, I don't have to like, yeah, sure. yeah. I mean, I can write it all out. A lot of memory battles is still unpleasant. I don't know, it's still... Some scenes were fun, I guess, but it was still so fucking slow. Yeah, honestly, I struggle to remember anything scientific. I think at one point we tried to weigh, the, we tried to measure the mass of some like coarse rocks by like oh, spraying yeah. them in water. Yeah, that was a fucking lame lab, this lab of shit. It was terrible. I don't even, I couldn't even like draw a clear conclusion from that lab. Like I think that like, yeah. we figured out that you just pre, pre wet the like, rock so the air doesn't stay in the rock. And okay. it was like, some, some of it's still like ambiguous like conclusions. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that, I really, the amount of real world scientific preparation that went on. Yeah, yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. Even the night, the night teachers, they weren't that great in the long run. I mean, I kind of missed Mr. Oh, yeah. So, uh, There's a way to check. We did a Hound Voter database. What's his first name? Roland? Sean. Sean, yes. okay. So, Burris, S H A. I think it's Burris with two years. Okay. Yeah, and then. Oh, no. It's an I and. What? Like, I think it was B-U-R-R-U-S. Sean, 
S E S E A N. Okay. So if he was dead, it would say something different. Like, just he's not that old. Yeah. It, it, well, it I, I, mean, he's, he's I wasn't concerned he was gonna die old. Yeah, day. yeah. I was concerned that uh, you know, get that that brain damage. Um, oh. When he had that bite. Wait, I wonder if Sean Lamar is still alive. Well, 1945. I wouldn't have guessed he's the same age as Anita Bahad. But I guess she's just well for good. Well, oh yeah. I mean, he did live through it. Oh. No. You might be like this. <laughs> 1958. Oh, wow. I knew it was going to be like, fucking, 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 I just tear it off. I, I got a surgery and then after that I just keep tearing it off. Oh, it was a surgery. Oh, it was just I mean, you just signed your tongue. Oh, Have you dated it at all lately? Uh, yeah, it's been complicated. Happened. Oh. Um, you just don't try? I haven't, I haven't gone out on any dates recently. Recently? What does recently mean? 2020. Oh, so you have gone on dates in previous years. Yeah, how many years in the past, but... Yeah, in the yeah, recent past. I mean, I went a couple of days in San Francisco, but they were... Uh, oh, shitty. They were, they were sort of tragic. Okay, <laughs> tragic. Boring people. I don't know. God, I'm so out of loop with you. I want to be more in loop with you. We were doing cool shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, well, a mo small molecule that helps reduce RS from the mitochondria by getting the, by getting the mitochondria membrane potential right or something. Huh. This is all based on one drug. Yeah, yeah. Um, is Mary Law still involved with this? No, no. she's, uh, she has gone on the deep end. She's really? I guess <laughs> no, that's, that's she, well, she's on, she's on Twitter, but I mean, she's part of that have you heard of Chow Chugran or Ale Girl? No, I don't know. I Damn. Don't know yeah, exists. she's like an Ale Girl orbiter. It's like a rational community of like people who are like post rats. Is it completely online or is it in person? A lot of it's post online. So you can see like Mary's Twitter uh, here. You go, uh, I don't know what the fuck she's doing, but she's like. What is all this positive thinking about how much he enjoys the act of journaling? Come on. I thought, like I, thought, I thought she was like a hard ass. <laughs> I thought she was, you know, unrelenting. Unrelenting what? In her assessment of others. In her, of her own power. Oh no, she's... If you like the world. Not really. No, I was just a phase. I mean, kind of. I just remember that she was going around Cambridge in this red leather jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was so cute. That was so fucking cute. God damn it. Whoa, see, look. 100% winning hot, I hot, I hot. Well, look at this. In the first Teal Fellowship, the gap of X with Kate Timmons, we want to think with how outsiders they were 12 years, how long he spent in the void. <laughs> wow. So, like, how does the world feel about Teal Fellowships? Are they... Are they still happening? Everybody I knew, they said you completely rebuilt their life and identity from scratch or with their, uh, on that age. With kids with entire, oh my god. This like DM are full of with kids with entire self worth being an outlier of good news. So, oh my god. <laughs> this guy has some strong opinions. Being great in math is, oh yes, yes. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I think Mary probably made Bailey in the elite. I mean, do you feel like your own thoughts on the relationship between early childhood academic success and like a Oh god, fuck the damn scene. Yeah. Fuck it all. Um, academic, early academic success gets you tracked early. Um, there's a lot of people who get depression or later because of that early tracking and then they're lost and confused, maybe way too late. And some of them, of course, like Jesse Edgars, do really fucking well, of course. Or Jay Tain, or they, I don't know, there's a lot of, a lot of early academic success seems to be later tracked into Google Brain or DeepMind these days. It's, yeah. like, they just, they're just able to identify the type of person so quickly. Do you, do you trust DeepMind? Google Brain with all these technologies? Sure, sure, sure. sure. I heard that there's going to be a, another big break too in Persian structure creation. When? Oh, 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 shit, shit. In about a month. Wow, interesting, okay. Yeah, I'm sure, well, last time it didn't go out of me, so I'm probably going to do that again. How the fuck are you able to keep up with all of it? Um, I'll just do all the news. <laughs> like <laughs> this. <laughs> Pretty nice. Yeah, she's like post tape or something. Um, oh man, this group of people. <laughs> Those my tenant. Yeah, she's bas she yeah, she's one of the people who's basically gone post tape. You're kind of practically eventually, even though you went to shitty schools that made you not real, that like didn't recognize give who you are. I don't know if that doesn't track, but yeah. Well, you know, it's more just like that there's not other good, good things to do that are interesting. Not other good things to do that are interesting, really. Science. Yeah, I don't know. What the fuck? That's. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's too much interesting things to do that aren't science. That's the problem. Yeah. Like, you know, the internet does get more fascinating. Yeah, you find yourself. You find yourself being bored. No, do you ever? Uh, Shit. I don't know. I don't really think about it, actually. But. A little, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. I do. You haven't traveled in like forever. Or I mean, you probably travel conferences, don't you? Well, that's when I traveled when we saw each other in February. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we didn't really touch yeah. much back then. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah. Oh, how's your sister doing? She's doing okay. Um, it's like really tough uh, being a small lab in the pandemic. Which lab? The Eden lab at Stanford. Eden, okay. The uh, Southern way. Um, oh, oh, okay, damn, okay. There's a lot of like, infecting blood cells and uh, precursors of blood cells with parasites and. Um, sorry, I'm not sure what. Why is this so good? Is it 
company? Is this it's a, just a, one of my friends. Oh. I told me you actually showed it to someone. Wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't they have a lot of interesting people? Probably. I mean, maybe it's possible. Maybe that's a typo. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Possible. And these are retreats. Yeah. No, I don't know much about it. So who is this? Uh, well, it was some random Harvard grad, recent grad, Kush. Yeah, he's working with Sam Rodriguez. Uh-huh. He's now in the UK, right? Yeah, yeah. Is he really, I don't know if he moved to... Did he move to Cambridge yet? I don't know. He, I mean, that person said it's been a year. Oh, Sam probably did, but Adam is moving back to the DC area. Do you know Erica? Erica what? Alden, the benefactors. She was dating Sam Rodriguez. No. She was a student uh, with Amit and uh, Kevin Esfal and Which Amit? Amit Bodrin. He was okay, a okay. Grove fellow okay. at the same time as Faye Chan. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, she was working on evolving quadruple codons. Quadruple codons. So the standard triple codons. Holy shit. Anyway, she, she joined the Baker Lab recently. Um, oh, holy shit, could you put- Wait! No, uh, it's not- no, that's a different person. You actually can develop new ribosomes too? You can evolve new ribosomes now? Uh, well, not from scratch, but you can combine them. Um, I don't know if this stuff is published yet, though. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, she was looking at, um, Oh wow! Oh wow! We have some stuff we can for ribosomes or something. Shit! Shit! God damn! Yeah, uh, that's what. Did you No. No. Oh holy shit! Oh wow! Holy shit! These people! Holy shit! Holy shit! There's so many interesting people. Does David Baker care about DNA repair enzymes? I don't think it's on his top priorities. Okay. His zones? Maybe. I mean, I know. Chaperones? Yeah, I think pro yeah, protein folding cells are always. Yeah, yeah, protein cell folding chaperones. Yeah. Um, heat shock proteins? Yeah, I mean, I think that they have less. Uh, experience with expressing their, their proteins in human cells. Okay, okay. DRNA synthesizes? Yeah, I mean, uh, why not? Okay, massively multiplex duplex evolution. Wow, I mean, that is great. Oh, wait, Jesus, shit. Ugh. Wow. wow. I, I should have a website that's, uh... You do, yeah, myself. you should. It's like, no one knows... Action shots of me. Yeah, almost no one fucking knows who you are. That's a problem. Taking Duncan and Alcohol you know, as that like goes beyond perfect prediction because it's like you have to like be totally fit if you can totally in silicone or like just has super high speed. Holy shit, this is so fascinating. Yeah. I really miss the boat and this whole personal website thing. The what? Broke personal website? I missed never mind. Um Are those internal? No, the bird into bird internal website. Oh no no no! I don't think you can host a, a okay. Okay. Bird, but um, holy shit, this person has like produced a lot of shit. I wonder how many fucking mutuals I have with her. God, this is so fucking distracting. Good people are like not on it. Yeah. It's like you're not on it. Engagement. 
No, there's too much engagement. Too much engagement. It depends on who you are. Interesting. Okay. Do you find Twitter to be more useful? Twitter's more useful now, or in a lot of ways. I mean, Twitter's just exploded recently. Like, it's just tragic because it's fucking bad organizing. Fuck, we should handle and blow bots. Fuck. Yeah, what do you think about, like, the mind math of, like, traversing Twitter conversations? Is it oh. frustrating to you, or...? I am... Um, it's okay. I mean, scrolling back to the beginning is fucking pain and fucking mess. Holy shit, this shit. Robotic feedback control. Wow, you know, I, I didn't even tweet about myself. Do you tweet about myself? Do you even have a fucking Twitter? No. Jeez. Feedback controllable by automation. I need, like, my own personal PI agent. Help me. I'm gonna take over my brain. Holy shit, I'm not aware of all this progress. Liquid handling robots. It's kind of like, kind of like what Dosh is like, trying to get rid of Dosh of Radix. Not sure. I entered into Tony. The gap between the cognitive half and the half knots is just increasing. Do you think that was an inflection point? I don't know that, but I mean, you know, there's like a huge difference between people who are deep mind and people who are just fucking lost. Or, you know, like deep mind employees like get paid like hell a lot, or like people who are like. I don't know. It's, it's just too like I I can tell which people are part of the part of the half and which people are part of the half knots already. It's so easy, and like I mean the halves are like only small percent, like only one percent or two or three percent of even people at the, even people at elite universities. It's like only that percent, but but they, then it's just fucking huge. Looking forward to this banana. Um. You think it's weird that I, this is how I eat a banana? I eat the peel. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're not gonna judge me for anything. Mm. Oh, nice figures. This is so fucking interesting. Ooh. The Baker Lab is not, not as intense as Broad. I mean, some parts of it are. Okay. But, well, you know, it's always interesting, like, like, this, you know, for what David Baker's doing is some sort of sustained high wire act where he's, like, trying to build, I mean, the culture is not really the same as a typical UW research culture, right? Yeah, it's very different. He gets its own fucking building. Kind of. But he hasn't broken free the way Eric Lander, I mean, that's so impressive. Eric Lander and his own fucking building. When he broke free. And built his palace to himself. Oh, palace to himself. Yeah, yeah. Sort of sustained erection. Wow. You know, some people said Boyden Lab is not what it used to be. Really? Yeah. I thought I just saw some quote online from Ed Boyden that was like, our tools have swept through optogenetics or something. Oh, yeah. Do you think that's the problem that they're too tied to... What? That it's too tied to what? Paradigms of the early 2010s. Oh, what is tools? The tool, yeah. the tools will be well. That that is that is what the Bird Institute is. I mean, you have all these new new tools, and yet you still haven't produced a killer drug, or you still haven't produced a killer app that has significantly changed how medicine is produced. That's right. So then people are still wondering, where is all the money going? Yeah, where is it going? It's going to uh, collecting a lot of data points. Yeah, mm-hmm. collecting a lot of data points, and yet it still hasn't helped with the cure for can- for curing any cancer or whatever. I mean, I think that, you know, there's still a lot of like the groups that lead in, in other areas like use a lot of stuff that comes out of that. But is it an efficient use of money? I don't know. Yeah, that's why Kush wanted to create that new biological experiment or whatever, or that new camp for like progressive, innovative people. Mm-hmm. 
By the way, what do you think of this person? Um, do you feel like the science world needs like a better networking tool? Oh sure, it's a, people have constantly talking about it. I mean, it's Twitter for now. Yeah, but it's so it's just, it's a lot of talking about shitty exaptation. I mean, like he's not top yet. Um, because what I'm trying to get at is, you know, do you feel like you could be positioned to? You yeah, should be like taken seriously by normies or like people who don't just look at the wrong to train strange people. That's like that's that's a challenge. Yeah, but even if you lack some amount of credibility, I feel like you know a lot of credible people. In some ways, but like I mean Dosh and Tony Tony was credited me a lot for it. Just just look at what, like the CEO of Palantir or whatever? Oh yeah, J Alex Harp. Yeah, I love that dude. He's also left wing he got on his teal or whatever. Oh, this person. What do you think of this person's research? Uh, Stephanie Vane. Uh, uh, Drug Discovery mobile app. How well, She's a student, or...? She's on leave. She's one of the Stanford students who just hanging around Boston. I entered her to Tony, and, like, he said that he might even recommend her her like work for petri dish or whatever yeah she's just hanging out with harvard students for now and just having fun and partying with harvard first years <laughs> yeah he's probably not practicing as much flute these days <laughs> um yeah it's a long list of accomplishments stuff. yeah it's not a short list wow the first one is top dog okay um hard to say i don't know it's i mean i'm you know i always struggle with um how much software is gonna helps on top of just yeah yeah I mean it's a lot of cloud it's a lot of like cloud based stuff I mean or like have you heard much about Kessner Griswold lately? No. Okay. I haven't been keeping up with Kessner Griswold lately. Okay. Oh god, too many fucking games. What? Politically inappropriate question. Go, Do you go. think that uh, Asian parents are aware that they can be hampering their children's professional future by not giving them more unique names? <laughs> yes. Yes, for sure. Except for that Feynman Leon or whatever, dude. Feynman Leon? Yeah. I have wonder the fuck he's up to now. He was like one of Oh, another software engineer. Oh my god, they have Twitter too. God. Oh my god, you like learn so much, so much about like what someone's attention of focus is when they go on Twitter. It's kind of tragic what some people go to and so what some people don't. Um, yeah. Not that many followers. He's got one more now. So how did you know this person? He was just on the list of like Washington Washington State Math Council or whatever. Oh, I see. Like one of those people who did well in math competitions. It's a uh, fuck those competitions. They're like, I don't know, overtracked. Yeah. A lot of those barkers have like kind of turned against them because... Oh, wait, speaking of which, what do we know about the current status of Will Johnson? Oh, he like moved to France or something to work as a software engineer with his girlfriend or Mary or something. Like producing a bunch of children. Or like... I have no fucking clue. I know. I just know that Jesse Hahn, someone ran some random. I know who, who was like, "Why did he just leave? Like he just quit suddenly." Wow. He just quit the math world, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was like, he's just natural. He had natural talent, but no motivation. Jesus Christ wasn't a big enough motivation. <laughs> Yeah, the last time I ran into Will Johnson, it was on 45th Street in the U District, and he was talking about shaders. Shaders? What shaders? Like, for graphics, for GPUs. Oh, holy was shit. More interested in that than other stuff. And, yeah, I mean, G GPU design is by a lot of people who, like, just don't give a fuck. Yeah. GPU, yeah, by people of town, but, like, they don't care about, like, being famous or whatever. Oh, yeah, I know people are, like, found John Carmack. He's, like, become irrelevant again. Irrelevant again? No, he's become relevant again. again. Well, he, was, he, like, he was all relevant, but he... Did he just, like, rewrite some piece of software? Was it something quite related or something? Someone's talking about something. I don't like know. That. He's trying to be... He's moving on to AI again now. 
I thought he like rewrote some piece of software like really fast that other people were stuck with. Um, handmade Seattle. Does he still have a Seattle connection? Oh my god, this person is like so self-made. It's like, you know some of those ner self-made nerds like him and also he sounds a lot like that BitTorrent creator with this game again. Oh, oh like Brad Bron Cohen. Bron Cohen. Cohen. Yeah, their Twitter, their Twitter found... Their... He's from, like, Oregon or something? What, yeah. Brom? Where was he from? I have no idea. I can look it up. I'm having... I sometimes have Joe Biden moments of names. It's sad. Dude, trust me, you're a long ways away from having Joe Biden moments. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you know a lot of people, you're just going to have Joe Biden moments. What? I just, I, I guess that's going to come into the common uh, parlance. Joe Biden moments. Joe Biden moments. Oh so man, what, so being president. Who was, last, who was the last president who died in office? Um, Kennedy. Oh, of course, Kennedy. Duh. But before Kennedy, was it, um... What, Warren Harding? Warren G. Harding. Or, I don't know, he died through a laughter, I don't think he, Or he was, no, Warren and then Calvin. Yeah, it's been a while. Except, of course, for the Kennedy assassination. Yeah. Um, did you ever play Brutal Doom, by the way? Brutal Doom? No. Oh, that's my favorite Doom mod. Man. Doom mod. Yeah, I played that I with... I never heard of that. It's, oh, it's really good. You it's played like, with who? I played it with Suhong and Jacob. Oh my god, you did play... Yeah. Damn it, I was never part of those. God damn it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Actually, you know, I think you would have... Yeah, it's god not, damn it. It's not too it. late, man. It's not too late. We could play some Brutal Doom. Is Suhong still at, still at Broad or whatever? Suhong moved to Berkeley. He's... Uh, he lives just in in Albany, just north of Berkeley. Albany, Albany. You know, oh. I had I had Thanksgiving dinner last year with the mayor of Albany, oh. California. Okay, okay. I don't know if you know that town. No, no. It's just north of Berkeley. Yeah, quite a coincidence. It's like near Richmond. Uh, yeah, it's like before Richmond. Okay, okay, so it's Bart. Yeah, it's on the boat. Yeah. Oh my God. John, you fucking sent your high school. You fucking sent your student to high school. That's abusive. You think a student should only study from a C++ textbook? You know, yeah, so do you have, do you, would you say you admire people who are still close to the metal? Metal, as in? Like, who still concern themselves with low-level technical details? Oh yeah, my friend. Do you want to visit my friend with me, actually? Who is this? Andrew Pham. He's one of my first friends. He went to... Dark Knight. He's, he's now a GPU designer. Where does he live? He's in Kirkland. Um, yeah, I, you know, I okay. to meet new people. Cool, awesome, awesome. Yes, that'll be awesome, because he, is, he also he also says, yeah, I, I tried to introduce, introduce, introduce you to him before, but then you never have caught up. Yeah. And you should get a power charging cord. And put one. Distracted so easily. Isn't it like, for every, like, you didn't even talk to Tony with the offer. Did she, like, talk to me and shit? It should. I mean, are you using any organizing, life organizing software at the moment? No, no, I just keep on moving on to shit. Mm. I should. I don't know, I've been having a fatigue problem lately, but then I got a new ADE med to prescription. Yeah, you don't seem tired right now, man. You seem all... Yeah, with you. It's, it's with other, all... when I'm with other people, I'm not so fucking tired all the time. I know what you mean. I know, I know. Ugh. Do I look any different? No, actually, you you look quite you look like you're in quite good, good okay. health. Do you feel okay. like you're in good health? No, I'm just tired. Uh, I mean, I, I also got to Cairo uh, for my neck and pain. Uh, in back in Cambridge? No, it's like Cairo. I don't know. So, you mean like a chiropractor, or that's something else? I just saw a chiropractor. Yeah. Oh, you know Sonia's working with Janelia. Sonia from Princeton. Yeah. Yeah. Working at, she's at Janelia Farm right now? What? Janelia, no, what, I mean, it's just remote. Uh huh. Does she ever finish her novel? No, she stitched that path completely. Wow, so she's on, what path is she on now? She wants to apply for grad schools with someone who's like the Timothy or whatever. You know how our fucking heroes are like, 
So Jeremy Nixon says, all the, all the best programmers play video games. Ugh. Well. Do you ever play Black and White? Black and White? Yes. You know, I just, it's unfortunate there's still no way to play it on Mac. It's stupid. I should just get a pro, pro Wait, PC. what the fuck? You don't have a PC. I know. I'm just, it's my minimalist lifestyle, man. Okay, just, you just throw a lot away. I just haven't accumulated a lot of stuff. But okay. I should get a PC. But you've been playing Black and White recently? No, I played it a while. I mean, I played it like 2015 or 2014, but then I just, I didn't, think, I just played for the knowledge. I didn't actually program a tree creature. I just, the my creature, I just button mashed my creature. Really? None of those long range dependencies that some people cre do create a creature. So did your creature always come out the same way? Um, I only played it like once, so then okay. I don't, I just like build a village and then have a creature just randomly destroy the enemy and then do nothing creative. And it's how I play video games, but I just button mash until like it's good enough. It's, it's, it's like haphazard. It's oh. like, yeah. Just like, just juicing it. Do you, uh, do you put videos anywhere online these days? I'm only asking because I think that I must have like a very out of date YouTube account of yours that I see. Yeah, in Kwan Kia. Because I, 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 yeah, I think I, I watched that video you made when a bird came in the window, like maybe. Oh yeah, times. yeah, me and Fair. That's true. I, I, I watched a video of, of recording and me and Fair together. Yeah, you watched that? Yeah, I mean it's it's a bit longer, but I yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely watched it. But is that it? You don't you don't you don't post your video output anywhere else? I mean, I have I Twitch, I stream on Twitch. Oh wow, I didn't know that. But I just stream at desktop activity on Twitch. It's important. Just like I, moving files around and stuff. Moving files around or just. Uh, yeah, it's, it's always a challenge whenever you go to personal email or Facebook messages because then you just have to pause, or sometimes you just don't pause it. Then you just feel like, oh fuck, what did I just wow. do? Yeah, I hadn't thought. So tell me about it. So is there a community of people who just stream this ordinary behavior? Yes, yes. And Not a community, but like, yeah, I just stream. Some people, and then like, have absolutely no barrier. Like they never. Oh stop yeah, the it. barriers are just hard. Or you could just like, you, or if you just like stream it, just put put it all the next on a hard drive, and then just get some personal assistant to edit out all the private stuff, and then just later. I see. But I guess I'm curious, other people who are, like, radically open, like, they'll stream no matter what is on the screen. Oh, stream radically. Yeah, there have been some people like that. I forgot their names, but I know some people who are kind of like that. Snowstorms. This reminds me, you know that, uh... Oh, you know it snowed last... It's it snowed in Boston. People made a fucking big deal out of it, but it snowed September in Colorado, for fuck. I heard it snowed, but I hadn't, I hadn't heard that it was unseasonal. Unseasonable, but well, I mean, Colorado snows in September all the time, so yeah, yeah, I'm impressed. Yosha Bach, huh? You're not, you're not on good terms with that. What is the boss talking about? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. You just... How? What fraction of Twitter posts would you say are just you trolling? I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck. Oh my god, it's gonna be banned the name. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get this block here. Well, good thing you fixed that. What? <laughs> yeah, really. What am I? to be in this, uh, <laughs> section of this or? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose followers over this. How many? I don't know, I have 83. 
Yeah. Do you feel like you just get these like self-destructive urges sometimes? I don't know. Let's see. Video capture. Interesting. Have you been recording all this? Yeah. Whoa. That's pretty nuts. We will, you will regret not, regret not having anything. And, with, and like, your interactions are just so treasurable because they just cover so much. There's like, you throw up like, uh, ad, uh, wait, so there's like, screen capture, and then there's also like, a uh, video capture device. Except, where the fuck is this? Um, you can put this over here. It's probably not, it's okay, it's in the app, it, it, like, whatever. Your face is the least interesting feature. Yeah, it's, man, my face is the least interesting feature, but I mean, it has more engagement. People post videos, YouTube videos on my face. <sighs> what am I all tired? I'm all, like, sad. Do you want to go for a walk? No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's too cold for a run. Mm. Yeah, so I'm, this person has been in the new intimidation. Oh yeah, if most of the people I've bonded- Oh yeah, this early adopted. You're on reason, I've heard of that shit. Yeah, this person, he's like- I keep on trying to introduce you to him, but you know Sonya dates him, but anyways, yeah. Oh <sighs> my god. Yeah, he like- Conflicts are called inflection points and volatility. He's also like, yeah, thinks about everything. Yeah, he's more creativity. You should look at this shit. You say there's nothing else interesting. You should look at this. Nothing interesting about science. This is like a way to think about science better. Oh, oh yeah, this person. She just she just like bashed Harvard. She she got famous at bashing Harvard. See? <laughs> look. They all she's a, she's a Harvard student? Yeah, yeah. And this is her claim to fame, bashing Harvard itself. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Um, managerialism, and a stunted appetite for risk. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> And you got like this stuff. Good mention there. It's a hot. Um, yeah. That's not the next memory. Next level memory control. Do you know functional programming? Oh yeah. You do? Yep. Did you work with Julia? Um, I never needed to work with Julia. Okay. But I'm familiar with Julia. Okay, okay. Yeah. You're familiar with it. God damn. <sighs> Have you heard of this person? What are your current, what's your current diet restriction policy? I take metformin and rapamycin now. What's metformin? Um, anti-diabetic guan by guanine drug. It's a lot of nitrogens. A shit ton of nitrogens. Oh yeah, have you heard of this person, the molecular transformer guy? Um, molecular transformer dude. Um,
<laughs> I'm waiting to kill me. Oh my god, I missed Josha. heard of this person. Um, utilize transform or restore multiple property prediction. Create a fucking entire infrastructure around this. Birth. They have a use birth models or like get yeah, transform model models for like molecular. Not hands on. People in the lab are using them but I haven't. Oh wow, them. wow. Do they record the sessions of the lab meetings or whatever? There's a fair amount that's recorded that okay. you can check out. Okay. Have you ever seen this? Um, no. Shit. Man, he broke YouTube pretty fast. Okay, I'm in at arms. There's Archers. Um, I don't know. I was actually, I was just joking. I was just pointing out how if you take four resources, long term, the gold is going to be safe, which is logic. Oh shit, sorry, I didn't do that. I bet. Oh, wait, I'm not interested, but. I don't know. Alright, um, so you know what? No, this is the same thing here. One of my long term fantasies. Was well, not really fantasy, but more like what I would do if I was rich. You know, like, uh, oh, yeah. like I think that like, rich people are generally very uninspirational with what they do with their money. Yeah, they did true. So I, mean, I would imagine, like, I would take a big area that's like. There'd be like a clip on my side, like when I look down it, kind of like oh, yeah. this, there'd just be blank land. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then I would have my not that not employees, that like, the range that people could come with like, day labor, like, 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 not pay too much, like, maybe, like, 50 bucks for the day. And they would basically, you know, deal with the locals. And then I could just, like, direct some of And, like, for example, like, I might just, like, select, like, 12 people, and, like, their job is just to, like, try to build, like, a basic mill. Oh yeah. Very and, exactly. yeah, yeah, I just, that's that's something I would want to do. <laughs> I mean, I think you could do that for a lot of money, right? Because they have to work through reality. Yeah, you can do reality as well. No, you just create a big hand to this. Um, I mean, D.E. Shaw is funded by money. Have you even heard much about D.E. Shaw research or death res? Okay. I'm just going to recruit from the Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. There's a lot of people who can watch the games here, and they can watch the games here. There's a college student who's Elizabeth Dean, the Queen of Infinity. Looks more like a red face. Okay, you got the farms around the hill, not bad. Lots of wood. Okay, prediction. These soldiers, these are going to be future farmers. This is the next generation of farmers. Right? Watch this. He's got seven coups. Why is he not farming? Oh, just wait. He's got plans to be killed. He's got plans. I've seen enough little games to know. It's either that, or all the villagers go to the berries, and then when the berries are they all come farms. Yeah, look. Look. Watch. Whoosh. Farms everywhere. One. 
Yeah. Just imagine that was real people. What? So imagine if that was all just real people. Oh yeah. What? I love it. We have Paul here. Oh my God! Did you see that? What the That's such a high throughput. It's like, did they keep track of everything? This DNA did by the do domains. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, In vitro continuous evolution. Dude, it's gonna like, change everything. How the fuck? How, how, can you like CRISPR those proteins into the cell or something? Yeah, can you CRISPR those proteins in the cell? Those evolved proteins? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can introduce them in different ways. Can you though? Once, you, once they've been evolved. Yeah, can CRISPR proteins or like AAV or CMV them do cells? Yeah, can CRISPR or CMV involve them into cells? Like evolve them into human cells? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you didn't do evolution for human cells. I mean, this relies on like. Um, very high rate of eugenesis in a, oh, very high, that, in, that's a short, you, in a short generation time. Oh, that's virus? That's why they only do with viruses? Um, yeah. Well, yeah, they like select the components. How do you, oh yeah, it's like mage, right? Kind of, a mage would rely on um, synthetic oligos, right? And synthetic oligos. all about directed uh, sequence changes. Oh, directed, wait, wasn't it doing directed se sequence changes in sick, sick, this, uh, uh, it's all random eugenesis. Oh yeah, random. Oh, random. Maybe it's maybe random, right? You know, like they, so they built a system to where they can in induce the high mean genesis. Okay, okay. So that's helpful, but um, they don't target to a specific sequence. Okay, okay. Like Faye was working on stuff like that. Faye? Right? Oh, Faye Chen. Zen on. Or Faye? Faye Chen. Faye Chen. Oh, who's that dude? He's like a bro fellow. I think oh. he has a position at... Okay. Oh wait. So wait. You, you mage. You mage genes into the cell, or? Well, people just like. I don't think that. I think. I think this doesn't exist. Like a really good system for hyper evolving a okay. specific sequence. Hyper evolving specific sequence. Yeah. Hyper evolving specific sequence. Like increasing the mutation rate a lot. 
Okay. I wrote that first okay. in a specific one, though. Okay. I don't think the fantastic system's doing that. Really? No, I mean, people are, like, really trying to develop it, like, the Dubner Lab at UC Berkeley, for uh -huh. example. Okay. But I, I think that there's... I don't think they've hit the mark yet, from what I understand. What, 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 what do you mean? Well, like, the, there's, like, an optimal mutation rate that's as high as the fixation time. Right? Oh, yeah, it's optimal like, mutation rate is high as fixation time, okay. So, like, you just want to mutate as fast as you can fix it, but, like... Mutate as fast... It, you mean, the, uh, mutate... Okay. Well, like, sorry, I mean, not as fast fix it, but, like, this is, like, a basic thing, where, like, you don't want to accumulate mutations faster than they have an effect on it. Okay. Like, if you accumulate it, you like, five mutations in okay. generation, then... Okay. But okay. I don't think that. I don't think that. That's okay. Okay. Maybe I'm not. Okay. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Well, oh, it's very syncretic. Uh, syncretic said. Uh, religious things that are. I don't know if Like you'll say, now can call it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I have to correct this note because I, I, I okay. misspoke it. Okay. Mutate as fast um, as you can select. Okay. And what is that? Uh, is that a different group? That's a different. That's what, what does that mean for that? One mutation okay. for the genome generation. It's not random, but it's actually direct mutations. No, well. Well, you, this, can, this print, you can print all of the nucleotides, right? You can you just can, print. but you have to do big batches is the problem. Oh, okay. Like, the big thing with, the, with these random revolutions is that uh -huh. it's a continuous process. Okay. But when, when you're synthesizing all of them, you have to decide on, like, 100,000 all of them at once. Okay. So... Really? Yeah, just the way the process works. It's like, okay. There's no way to continuously generate all of them. Okay. So can you generate any arbitrary broken sequence? Can you gen You mean synthesize the Yeah, DNA? yeah. Well, sure, yeah, you can synthesize whatever you want. Okay, okay. I mean, there's like kind of hybrid approaches. Maybe Erica will work on this. What do you oh, yeah, Erica will work on this. Or you synthesize okay. a lot of starting points. Oh. No, that's what these things like Unirap are uh, really good for. Okay. Or a random model of you know, Unirap is you can get a lot of starting points for okay. evolution. Like uh, like a particular like an evolved like an evolved protein sequence. Yeah, well, it's like you want to like go back and forth between okay big jumps okay which you computer modeling oh yeah and then continuous evolution only makes small jumps but it's like oh computer modeling and maybe it's like evolution it's like evolution right. Um, maybe just like a lot of random. I'm not really sure what mages be. You know what? Maybe okay. you should look up what mages yeah, yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. I'm just going with the, with the technology when it's Okay, okay. Like oh. Seven years, Sam. When did it come out? Come on. So does he have a company? Accelerate directed uh, evolution. Um, isn't that like what, like, that? I mean, Cro. Whoa, Motix. Okay. It's 2012. Okay, okay. What do they have to do now? Natural principles of evolution. We also have a list of genome design. Automates these. Automates genome design to. Uh, oh, microbes. It's like genome alteration. Uh, from up to different. 50 g different genome, genome alterations. It's, 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 it's funny because I haven't looked at this since like I learned a lot more about how stuff works. Yeah, so it's like. The, from what I remember, it's like the transformation process is like executed by the robot. Mm hmm. Um. The, yeah, and then they just grow for a while. Try to remember, but, um, but I'm not. Yeah, I don't know if this is state of the art anymore. Do they have a major related company? Um. Uh, 
not involved. Well, that is fucking ancient by now. Fortune is ancient. That shouldn't be the case, but time is so quick. Is that what it is? And involved? And yeah, involved. you got it. So does this company still exist? I don't know. George Church and who? I thought George Church has a few successes and a lot of misses. Okay, it's okay. Like, unlike the evolution process itself. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, I, um, let's hit the many misses. Yeah, like the evolution process itself. So, yeah, um, George Church's lab is like that. Oh, performing cells in multiplex genome engineering. Have you ever heard of this Catholic professor who won the Nobel recently? Which one? The Catholic Ar Arnold, Franklin Arnold. So, yeah. Do you know much about her? You know, she's like the... William Michael Shapiro. I don't know too much about her personally, you know, I think she's a... She kind of a fair share of scandal personally, but, um... Uh... You know, she's like the... Okay. The godfather. Okay. Are you an expert? Are, we, are you like an expert on the structure of t of like of like TNF alpha by now, or like that inflammatory protein you looked into? I no, we never took a structural. IFTB. We never took a structural perspective. We only took a signaling perspective. Signaling presses IFKB, right? Both NFKB. Yeah. Oh, NFKB. Yeah. Wait, do you know the state the structure of it yet? Like how many alpha kilos and how many beta sheets it has yet? The um. Yeah, I feel I found a cool I found a cool protein website that I should look up based on my credits. God damn it. Um The short answer is no, I haven't like looked too much at the structures of things. Except for the receptors. Oh, which receptors? I want receptor. Jesus the Christ, answers. they remove my ass science post. What the fuck? Wait, what are the you fuck? Being, you, do you have enemies on Reddit? I don't know. Which, uh, which subreddits are you most active in? For science? Well, no, they, they still allow some of the science comments on. Okay. Um. Yeah, they really remove a lot of my... Do you feel like they're less Wait, forgiving? what the fuck removed this? I think they're less forgiving than Quora. Yes, they're far less people giving, but Cora, like, removed one. God damn it, they removed this shit. Is there a pattern that you see? I don't know. Sense? Wait, they removed my auger post too? Maybe there's, like, a tr phase transition where people just, like, lose trust in your account. Seems like you're doing okay in meditation, though. No, I'm not. No? Just, what I, the fuck? That's just generalizing. They removed yeah. this from drug nerds. What the fuck? They removed this from longevity. Oh, you got a good conversation on GPCS there. I was thinking like then add Joe Biden and then they got mad. Oh. I was thinking I was, I was asking what, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was, 
That's what he wanted. Oh yeah, so is there like a report from Joe Biden's doctor about fitness for presidency? I have no idea. I wonder how that would compare to the Trump report on fitness for presidency. Yeah, I don't know if I believe this shit. You don't know Angela Yu from Quora, do you? Who's that? She's like a new postdoc at the UW. Oh. What's going on with a Quora t-shirt? Quora t-shirt, really? Did she actually have a... Oh, it, well, it got removed, but I still have access. It's like shadow banning people. You're looking at something about NFK? Yeah, well, I want... It was going to say NFK, but it was more about... You don't see how messy it is or whatever. Like all those fucking inner folds. Like why is why is like insulin receptor all those fucking receptor proteins are just like so fucking complicated or like even that hexokinase that's like two fucking strands and then Yeah, so let's say like an NFTV. How about Wow, they even have some binding information. Don't you have to crystallize all the binding too, or... DNA bound structure? Yeah, DNA bound. Like, how do you have those protein protein interactions? This? Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, so. This is NFKB bound to DNA. Where is the fucking DNA? Mm, click on it. 1998. That's ancient. So it's just, it's just a binding information of sequence, um, NFKB. Do they even have NFKB? Macromolecules. And, uh... Oh, wow. So they have molecule name and gene, and the kappa. Do you know this side, by the way? It seems pretty, do you think it seems useful more useful than others? I have not used this portal that much. Okay. I mostly use the CSB one. CSB? For the oh. bio bank? Oh, CSB. CSB. This one? No. Okay. Do you ever attend talks or do they fucking boring? Do you use gene codes? Gene cards? I've never seen that. Um, I don't think I so much of my fucking content. Um, I haven't been to a whole lot of talks in, this, in the COVID era. Oh yeah, I mean they, they do Zoom talks now. One, two, three, four, five, Katie. Oh, 
Wait, what the fuck? The proteasome actually fucking translates that. It's post translation process. Yeah. I thought the proteasome only like degrades proteins. Like anything that goes to proteasome is like dead. No the details of proteasome. I just don't yeah. know. Activate NFKB and stimulates expression. Yeah, it's I mean it binds to DNA and somehow it binds to particular units of DNA. Do you know how to visualize the NSKB, or do you know how many alpha helix and beta sheets it has, or where it folds? This component, P50? P50? That's the gene you're looking at. Really? This is NSKB. Wow, they have like interaction networks. Well, this is a lot of, you know, bad naming schemes and cell biology. Yeah, like there's NFKB horrible. refers to the entire phenomenon of activation. What, really? The entire phenomena is not a gene. It's a so transcription like, factor that's a gene. No, but there's actually a family of them. Family. Oh, NFKB is a family of genes. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, so you have to look at the family of NFKBs. Well, yeah, to get the right picture, you have to look at okay. the family and the... Who is the PSPHD species of anyone, by the way? Yeah. Is this no protein? This is, yeah, but if you look up the NFKB pathway, okay. then you'll like... Okay. Something yeah. like this. Sure. So you, you'll see that there's a bunch of components. Well, yeah, you need to just try Nemo. To but, so, so, can we get a little bit bigger? Yeah. Um, so here, sorry, this is like... like yeah. Okay, so here's P50 right okay. here. Yeah. P50, which is NFKB1 gene, mm -hmm. but you know the gene names don't necessarily tell you everything, right? So yeah, LA yeah. is just as important. Well, uh, yeah, and uh, and then, yeah, you see there's a bunch of upstream things. So really, like the okay. core pathway is like is like these pieces here, uh -huh. and um, we're missing something else here. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, is this one? Tech one. Yeah. So this is like the sort of shared component, but then you see there's lots of plus lots of ways it can get activated. Okay. Well also with N K I I K A B can be activated. But like TAC one or yeah. M A L T one. Whatever the fuck it'll even do. Well, N F K B a typical pathway is like P sixty five or P fifty and there's hidden DNA. Or wait, is this like where it hits the uh, Oh, wait, it's also bind to IKBA, which is like an inhibitor, right? Yeah. That's the inhibitor. Yeah, that's right. That, like, it's, yeah. it usually you need something. To, oh, you phosphorylate the inhibitor, and the inhib inhibitor is released, and then it can actually transcribe the DNA. Yeah. So it kind of like works like keep two in that regard, or let's keep two, or like there's something that inhibits. Uh, also, like, you know how, like, what's the other thing? NR NRF2 is also, like, bound to something that has to be inhibited before. Then it has to be inhibited before it can tra it actually translate those genes. Oh wow, this is oxidative stress. Nerve growth factors, wow, wow, this is so interesting. Dag, damn it, damn. Okay, okay, cool. Hmm. Do you have matrices of protein protein interaction distances or amino acid interaction distance between each amino acid of a protein? Yeah, those matrices are intimately related to the coevolution. Coevolution. 
Wait, so do you have like Hartree Fock or Fock basis states for every scene of protein? Like the other protein pro amino acids and their conditions between the proteins? Clearly, what's Fock basis state? Or something. There's there's a way to represent like all the protein track or like there's a way to capture the to capture the calculate Hamiltonians. Um. Any Hamiltonians. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think people were using these models to decompose the interactions. I mean, it's a molecular it's chemistry. It's like molecular chemistry where you get. Do you ever like mutate a single residue or like change its conform rotational conformer in order to predict how the how it's going to change the fruit, entire protein shape? Yeah, I mean, it's a kind of a standard thing. I don't. It's not always very accurate. Okay. Based on my modeling, but. Um, yeah, that's okay. Have you evolved any proteins yourself? No, everything has been designed ahead of time. Oh, have you, oh, you designed proteins intellect, intelligently, and then you have, you try to see if they, if they follow some low energy state or low entropy state. Yeah. I mean, you want to see that they match the design. So you can have a design of a of a, but something that is activated by another protein or by a muscle molecule. You know, well, they're trying to. They're trying to. You know, okay. like the locker system. Locker. Lo the locker. Well, the Docker. No. Locker. Locker. Where a, a small molecule hits a protein at a particular site. Oh, looks like this. Okay. Oh holy shit! Like this. God, there's so much shit. Do you use Drupal? Do you use? Kubernetes? Do you use Docker? I've used Docker and I don't even know how you pronounce it. Kubernetes? Kubernetes? Is that how it's pronounced? Kubernetes. Kubernetes? I've used that in the past okay. a little bit. Um, Docker. Actually, the Baker Lab has a very old school uh, Sloan like Unix cluster. Really? Oh my so, god. Do you get to see other people's files? Oh yeah. Nice. Or do you get to see other people's files in the code? No, I never really explored. I think no. Okay. I think Broad was a little more. Oh, closed access. And then well, you dub, yeah, you dub, you dub, you dub atmospheric department to really open it in terms of like how, uh, uh, data sharing. Like a lot of the professors would leave a lot of their directories open so that you can. Yeah, possibly nobody cares. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it, it makes, it makes like, it makes learning so fucking easy. Especially all those ad programs that are so, that are so hugely configured. Wow. Well, who the fuck? Okay, Baker Lab. Jesus Christ. Um, well, picomolar inhibitors. So do you know, like, any perfect... So can you, like, design the perfect agonist or perfect... Or do you know dreads? Designer proteins activated by designer drugs. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not super... Deep, okay, I've yeah. Do you know about folk protein switch? Okay. Or, like, what about allosteric inhibitors? So, like, all the switching stuff in principle mm -hmm. involves Alistair. Okay. And you know, Ra rapamycin is like, wow. Design direct, you know, direct of tunable pH different driven conformal changes. Huh. Oh my god. Do you know about protein design? More of that shit. He's been so fucking prolific. Like, how the fuck do people can't keep up with all of this? It's so good. How? It's a lot. It's a lot. You know, it's like deep mind where only a small, small fraction of anyone in the world can ha ha can actually figure it out. But then the, the program somehow finds them anyways. And then I don't know why. Do you think that what percent of people in the world can actually follow all of this? Like, what percent of biochemistry professors can actually follow all of this shit? So kind of questions like, at what level do they follow it? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Nobody follows it in detail. God damn. Whoa. Okay. Oh my god, origin of co-evolution. This is like a deep paper. Yeah. Do you know DMDS rates? Is this the non-synonymous versus synonymous mutation rate? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I oh yeah, this is Chevalier. I've, I've seen this shit before. Because they're all, they all do it with like the most boring proteins ever. They don't do it with real proteins. They make me sad. 
Yeah, that makes a lot of people sad. The, oh, the direct evolution is also stupid proteins wasn't real proteins. You notice that the Baker lab also, like, does evolution with the dumbest proteins ever. Like, stupid ad hoc viral proteins rather than transcription. What about rather than... <laughs> what? I don't know, keep going. No, it's annoying. Like, it's all some stupid viral adenal... Viral proteins that doesn't mean shit rather than, let's say... Maybe you should let them know on Twitter that you're unimpressed. Yeah, no one will pay attention. I don't know. You never know. You never know. I think that's a... I don't know. I think, uh... What do you call it? A factory seek, is it? You know, the easy way to... The easy way to make someone do it is just... Like, do a core dump. You know some people just do a core dump of everything they think on Twitter? Like, this Destiny girl. She just core dumps everything she thinks on Twitter. But then... I hate those Twitter core dumps because then it makes all the old shit inaccessible, so... I don't post much on Twitter for that reason. Whoa, competition protein design. Repeat protein thing. Oh my god, look, Emil asked, like, Origins of Life shit. Um... Do a lot of Origins of Life stuff. Do you know about... Mm -hmm. I have no... Oh my god. We've covered a lot. We've covered a lot in our conversation. It's actually really interesting. A general competition approach to reboot protein design. You should, like, do a twitch of your lab work, or your competition work, or, like, meet so many people who train people. Yeah, more influenza, a fuck influenza, I hate this, it's so annoying, it's so boring. All the, whoa, yeah, T cells are also fucking boring, really do resident interactions, that might be interesting. It's all from that thing, guys, even Harvard. We can, he's a professor of Harvard. Now. Yeah, that's why I know him. Yeah, I've seen this goddamn Pearson's work. The son of a bitch's person's work. You don't, you don't like him? No, do you know who, who calls you the word son of a bitch? Um, Curtis LeMay? No, it's Nixon. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... When you listen to a Nixon page, pa after you listen to a Nixon page, you'll see you start calling everyone a son of a bitch. Yeah, I know <laughs> You know, Trump... It's actually interesting. I mean, Trump goes deeper, but he doesn't call people son of a bitch. It's actually more interesting. Whatever. Forrest person unfolding. Arrgh. This is so fascinating, except how the fuck is any son of a bitch gonna have the time to read it all? Computational event design. I mean, this could all be more efficient if we didn't write fucking papers on it. Do you ever read Lord Demi? I think you asked me that question in the past. Yes, sure is important because, like, no, Alexi Cousy and Lord Demi are, like, really interesting because they hate all the inefficiency of science. That's why they, they're, they're trying to study. That's like all the cool science people are trying to set up this, this cool science camp. Do you hear Pranam Chatterjee, by the way? No, is he invited to the cool science camp? Um, well, he's like, you know the Josh Jacobson labs at MIT Media Lab? Yeah. He was like one of the CRISPR people. Okay. I, don't, I don't pay that much attention to, attention to CRISPR. Uh, Pranam Chatterjee? I think I might have seen something. Yeah. Previously, goddamn, evolution, evolution. Can you just, like, evolve- wait, can you just evolve these proteins? At, wait, uh, who synthesizes these proteins, by the way? The novel proteins of the Baker Lab. You know, uh, I'd say the top three companies synthesizing proteins would be... Genentech? Genscript. No, not Genentech. Okay. Genscript, IDT, and that uh, joint. ADT? IDT. What the fuck is IDT? IDT? Yeah. The most common oligo provider in the U.S. Oh, really? Oligo? IDT. IDT. What about Twist? Um, they don't use a ton of stuff in Twist. Some people do, like, uh, what, like, um, Ginkgo, I think? Yeah, Ginkgo, okay. Um, Didn't Twist do oligo nucleic synthesis too? There's some bad blood between Ginkgo, between Twist and Agilent, I believe. Okay. okay. That Twist Agilent. Came Twist came out of Agilent? I think Agilent are kind of like the OGs of, um, microarray synthesis. Microarray? Isn't microarray synthesis, like, ancient? It's not a new technology. Yeah. yeah. It hasn't really been revolutionized. Um, People still use cool. microarrays. That's what I'm more curious about. Yeah, they're not so expensive. They're like oh. under 100 bucks, right? Oh, that's why. Yeah. non covid on the for interactions. God, who the time to read all this shit? Do you know the Francis Crick Institute? The, uh, no. Francis Crick Institute. Like the laboratory right from Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. I mean, I've seen it, I, uh, mm. mismatched, yeah, I mean, postdocs, this, I'm pretty sure, but... Oh, yeah, you know what, so that makes sense. It's harder. I don't know. 
Yeah, it's also like maybe like some like, crisis harder. I mean, you know, the whole world's different than those two different. It is. I think so. Amyloid beta. Well, amyloid beta. We can. Wait, can you like design a bind? How? See, how would you know protein protein binding? The like classic low throughput acids. Nothing's like Elisa. Elisa. Well, Elisa is like it's, it's like very. It's not high throughput. No, it's not super high throughput. Is there any high throughput protein protein interaction assay? Yeah, there's um, like ribosome display. Ribosome display. The surface, surface display methods. Okay. Ribosome display. How the fuck does that work? It's pretty cool. You should look up a picture of ribosome okay. display. Okay. The idea is that you halt translation so the ribosome is physically oh, attached to both the gene and. Oh, holy shit, you halt translation. Does it work for large proteins or only small ones? Or do you just halt it at, halt at various stages of translation? Uh, you can halt it at a specific point. Really? No. Do you like to display it? Bits on the side. Is it like an isotope marker at a particular side of translation or something? No, I think it's a particular sequence. Okay, okay. Um, oh, a sequence. That's recognized. Oh, but wait, like you muted the ribosome or you just... Yeah, so I think I think to do it efficiently, you, you use ribosome mutants. Oh, ribosome mutants. And you also use drugs that... Does it work for... Also, does it, does it, does it only work for... For like, what about proteins that are post-translational modified? Does it work for those? That's a great question. I doubt that it works very well for most post-translational Okay, goddamn. But there might be some other weird strategy, but I don't think so. Okay, because okay. Because happen like the, uh, um, what is it, ER? Is ER just fucking hard to manipulate during terms of right? Um, I mean, there are strategies. Don't you use yeast? You said, do you use yeast to ribosome to synthesize proteins? I mean, people often use yeast to. Do you know Eric Clavin's lab? Eric Clavin's? Yeah. That you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I know someone from Eric Clavin's lab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ribosome just play with the spot. Maybe the ribosome can fuck itself. Um, like there's a, um... Do ribosomes actually fuck themselves? Like interchange of components between ribosomes? That could be a way to do now, I think. I'm not an expert, I don't know. I think it's really interesting. Okay. Yeah, which proteins fuck themselves? What's the entire set of designers of proteins that actually do fuck themselves? I don't know. You know, see elegance fuck themselves. Come after the proteins? Yeah. yeah. I suppose. God, I fucking die for any more E. coli stuff. You're tired of E. coli? I'd rather just fucking E. coli. It probably that happens. It does, and receptive. Oh, they have a wiki article. This is not the one. Reverse transcribed. Jesus, motherfucker. Son of a ribosome. Son of a fucking ribosome. Can this get a scrap to appeal to this ribosome? I'd be so happy. I just want you in ribo ribosome since that's a peer to ribosome. I mean, he maybe just fuck it, make his fuck ribosomes fuck with a naked role more like ribosomes. That will make me so happy. Yeah. Naked Yeah, if, have you ever been following with naked role like fucking ribosomes? I have not been following. I mean, I know of naked role rat as a model, but I Fuck naked role rat. They can just fuck all the fuck themselves. Why is E.O. Wilson a fucking naked role rat that he should be? And why the fuck is he 90? Christ. You know, E.O. E. Wilson was actually an inspiration of Simant. And there's actually a new Simant. There is? Yes. Really? What, yes. Wait, what is that was available? Empire's under Android. Yes. It's very clunky, though. I, I, I tried this. I tried it. It's, it's so fucking clunky. So they have, like, different, a lot of different ant species. And just, like, 
Jesus motherfucker, can this Ansys go fucking fuck please? They're just castrated on his face. Oh, let's see. Alright. I think that's everything. Yeah, there's some more uh there's some more food there. Okay, but I want to call off well, the more really low level. So do they have a backyard I mode? I think they got everything. Alright, all in the they have a surface mode, backyard mode. It, it looks a lot like one of those dungeon keeper. It looks a lot like dungeon keeper, if you know that game. I know, uh, yeah. 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 It's so granular. Yeah. I think the human, uh, the human ant interaction was probably my single favorite. I mean, there are a lot of great things about Simeon. Yeah, but yeah. But the human and also spider ants. ant interaction. For, uh, they have some spider and beetle ant interactions, but like, I don't know, this, this is very... This but the Lego force is dead. And, like, it's it's cool to provide yeah. food to support dozens of people. It's really operational to find clunky. It's like, I mean, clunky is just like very jagged, not fine grained. Okay, so what's here then? You can't like. Is it multiple versions of these guys? Hard to, like, that could be a problem. Selection on on on, on these, these ants, and it's like. You, I mean, I feel like. Any game with ants has to be okay, a so scale right. endeavor. It so should like, be a multi scale endeavor, and they could create it, except they only create over here. more iterations of. This is more like a Baldur's Gate dungeon. There are Baldur's intruders Gate in dungeon. the nest. Oh, Lulu plays Baldur's Gate, whatever. Anyways, what the fuck is a silverfish? Wait, are those silverfish? And there's food behind them, too. Yeah, I feel like, how much chemical. Yeah, how much does modeling things like chemical? Um, I don't even know about the chemical. I don't know about the fucking it's more like a standard RTS than a... It's not even a standard RTS. Standard RTS is less clunky. Mm. It's a cl Oh yeah, Command & Conquer just released a new shit. Piece of shit. A new HD version. Of which one? Um, the first, the original two. Before series revenge. You know Adam Marvel from like that, but anyway. Or Joe Shabak and Adam Marvel from those like... That, that fucking game, whatever. The old one or the new one? Um, probably Red Alert or whatever. I don't even... I didn't even ask... I don't even ask. It's... Like, I always ask what video games people play, if that was interesting, like... Yeah. I've never really connected... You know David Liu plays World of Warcraft? What? Yes. <laughs> Why? Why is that so surprising? So I just thought that guy really optimizes his time. <laughs> like, he actively plays World of Warcraft? Yes. He's a fucking mage or something, I don't even know. Hey. What? He's stuck for different folks. I just heard he had a giant TV in his office. Oh. Do you ever, have you ever talked to that dude? No, I never really interacted with the guy. Equal opportunity. Motherfucker. Yeah, this is all the statements you watch. Yeah, um... I played the free demo. I played this a bit, but I mean, I just play. I just play one session and move on. Resident Evil is pretty fucking fun. Um, it's actually much better. It actually makes you guys play the first. It makes the first seem so annoying. It's pretty immersive. Um, this I got bored with so within several hours. This also is boring as fuck. Um, this also is boring. Doom Eternal is just so fucking boring. Really? Yeah. I haven't played it. It's also it's just very clunky. A lot of the newer games are just clunkier than the older games. You play Wolfenstein? Um, Wolfenstein that's also a kind of clunky. And also keep dying. I hate. I don't know why most FPS just keep. They they're just full of expert players that still haven't moved on, so they just kill all everyone. This game is boring as fuck. Um. A lot of nerds like this game. I don't have the patience. This the climate change, the climate change dynamic in this sucks. You, I mean, no one. Yeah, because like no one really. Hey, no one really does anything. You just build all around. You just build more. It doesn't actually really flood that many cities, and no one declares war on you because they're immune to you. Really? It's like yeah. I mean, the proper the proper move is exactly to declare war on whoever's emitting the most CO two, and it doesn't happen. That's why it's so fucking disappointing. Like, do people? Is carbon credit part of diplomacy? You only like you can impose like you can you can like it, do races to like 
kind of like give rewards to whoever removes the most the least car less carbon or whatever. But that's an interesting. Amnesia is kind of interesting, especially with VR. Um, but I, it's like I don't know. It's it's hard to get through, if you know what I mean. Um, hard to be familiar. I don't know. There's this a lot of people like. Yeah, Andrew Zager's really good. Andrew Zager, really. Yeah. I mean, because he, he looks at, you know, Blue Origin, so... Oh, yeah. Daniel Fawn likes it. It's like a very nerdy... All the nerds go for this. Like, you could tell... You could tell how autistic someone is by how much he likes this game, or how, like, how good, well their mind works. Um... Yeah, like, a lot of programmers... If, if a programmer likes this game, it's like, like... It's always interesting seeing what a game like Chelsea Boss would play, because Chelsea only goes for, like, the nerdy games, which is cool. She's not ADHD as I am, or whatever. Rimworld is like, this one I've heard a lot of good stuff. Ayla Girl loves the fuck out of that. And I know some of the people who like it. I wish I had the time to play it. Another fucking WW2 game is like, it's always, they're all the same every year. It's, I don't know why people like it so much. Cassandra likes Solaris, so a lot of people like it. I don't have the patience for it. It's, you have so many, like, change between so many screens. Dead by Dale, I don't get why people like it so much. It's a Halloween game, I guess. Um, Outer Worlds is, like, for Thunder. Oh, yeah. And I also like, once you like the Czech Republic, and they play a lot of World War II games in the Czech Republic. When were you there? Last year. Last March. Oh, wait, look, no, man, no, I went to rationalist events and I met up with some rationalists. Mm, no yeah, yeah. It's actually... Just in Prague? Or? I was in Prague and I went to some resort near Liberace or whatever. Mm. Um, yeah. Did this you see anything that would convince you to go? No. It's too much pollution of Europe. I mean, London's pretty cool, but London's fucking overcrowded. Um, Spend any time in Berlin? I spent one day in Berlin. Um, there's too many people smoke like the fuck out of there. Um, yeah. There's like to eat every time in Berlin. Uh, I went there for a conference. Okay. Yeah, I went there for an Asian conference. Um, it has. I don't know. It's like people say about the nightlife and stuff, but because these just at social events, everyone fucking smokes. So then it's like you. It makes you not go to those events anymore. Seriously. Yeah, they have a hack. Social acceptable just wear like a respirator. Yeah, probably. Well, it's, now it is. Um, Alice Lassie, yeah, that's a, that's a horror game. I put a little bit of that and it got bored like every other. Um, Mass Effect Andromeda, what the fuck is that game? I don't know. Everyone hates it. Except Holly, whatever. Um, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, yeah, I got bored of that quick. Once you play one Elder Scrolls, all the rest become boring as fuck. Um, Eco. Oh, that's an eco game. Yeah. I miss Fear 2. Um, yeah, all those games. Not one did I play. Not one did I play to completion. Soma. Dragon Age. Oh, yeah. Total War 3 Kingdoms. I cannot resist reading all the YouTube, YouTube videos of it, even though it's not that novel. It's like the most obvious way to get. It's just to be skinned. Yeah, it's like, it's like War Man for Three Kingdoms reskinned, or and the Total War is reskinned, um, except with like all the characters that you know, and it's not even as fine grained. Uh, it doesn't have as much fine grained detail as the others. Super Hot is one of the coolest VR games. Um, and I played that with. Uh, what? Which one? Super Hot. Like, that's a game, that's a game any, everyone should play in VR. It makes you, it, like, make you actually feel like you're hit the coolest, or at least you can imagine that way. But it's actually really fun. Surviving Mars is really fun, actually. I would recommend everyone play that. It's actually like... People... Arc Evolved is like a game I, I, a lot of smart people know got hooked into, but I never got into it. Wow, that's so fun. Modern Warfare 2, that's still there. It's like... Brainless. In Prayer On, though, that's another survival. It's like... Watch Dogs 2, I played some. It's a pretty cool hacking game. Um... What else? More Kerbal Space Programs. So this one's something people like. I don't know what the fuck is shit. Hidden is... Hidden just like... I got bored. Oh, well, I'm playing it once. It's pretty cool. Then it gets boring. Wolfenstein 2 is so... It's just like a movie. It's like a lot of those 
campaign movies are just the worst games of all. Imperator 1 was really fun. It's like EU4 applied to, applied to ancient Rome, and you actually get to see some of the fun great interactions between all those Gallic tribes, which was weird names. Um, wow. Shit. Shit. Santa was the way, yes. You played that with your friends. I'm so jealous I was not in. Um, well, there's a city living. God damn, this fuck. Everyone likes that game. It's short. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I did not follow it. I just played it. And I, like, Forge is pretty cool to play a few times. It's, it's a very newbie friendly game. Tomb Raider is kind of fun for a while, and then it's all the same. Um, yeah, like I played it once, and it's like a few hours, and then it, and then it was seemed like it was the same. Um, Hotline in Miami, a lot of people like because it's like. We can, we can make it really hard if we want. Um, wow, they have Crisis 3, what the fuck. Um, Arma, oh yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people have Arma, but it's like, you have to be patient to like it. Otherwise you just die all the time. Um, well, how do we get into this? It's like, wow, what? <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, some pretty cool people like, like play some of these games. Time to pay attention to anyone else with their bright new papers. Do you know Mohammed Al Kuridi or whatever? Evolution, evolution based resume, resume contact, and prediction resume. God damn, piece of shit. It's 2013. Oh. Wow, that bitch was in the Baker Lab. I remember when you swore all the time. We don't do it anymore. Yeah, I'm always strange these days. What? Why do you stop stress wearing? That's a good question. When? I miss I miss the days when you just when you just f bomb every other sentence. You're not your past self, and that sometimes makes me cry. You're still awesome, but you somehow, you some, you've like, totally lost some, some of your past. Aquaporins. Yeah, so look at aquaporins, they get too, they get screwed, really attached, they, they get, like, you can, you can put a rubidium atom on top of it, and then it just, Left of the or whatever. I don't know. Have you been. Oh, oh wait, that's not, not Aquaperm, it's one of the attachment transporters. It, it responds weird, strangely, to Rubidium. Have you been learning about the glyphatic system in the brain? Oh, yeah, I have. That's why. Aquaporins. Oh, Aquaporins, really? Shit. Yeah, you know, huh? Yeah, I'm really concerned about that because I don't want Alzheimer's, though. So, like, if you have all the plaques, it might be a way to get it out by the safety hurts or whatever. Motherfucker. <sighs> do you ever do you know any residues? Do you any do you know about know of any mutations to the NFKB? And how does it affect an NFKB? I don't know about anything, but I hope it's not. Okay. Protein Structure Initiative. Motherfucker, it is. <sighs> yeah, let's do pair specific distances. So no homology modeling. Do you ever like protein do you ever do protein structure prediction for like 
proteins if you change the pH value or if you change the... Ooh, this is a great question. Like, how do people deal with that? Yeah, yeah. They don't deal with it well, I can tell you that. Shit. Um, oh, no. Pop it back in. It does have screw. Basically, it screws loose. You just have to come to like lens crafters or something. This happened before, and I went to some lens crafters stuff to fix it. I mean, for now, I mean, there's an easy ad hoc way to fix it. It's gonna, have, it's gonna pop back out again. If, there, if there's like a screw I can use for this. What was the last Sims game you played? Uh, I was looking at Simtower recently, but I, I saw Sim that was a Simtower. Okay. Uh, oh, you t no, wait, oh, game. yeah, that's, what's it called, what's it called? It's like, yeah, like a ton more. Yeah, it is. Like, it's it's uh, yeah, it's like Project High Rise. Yeah, but I didn't actually. Do you ever watch Lady Game Reviews? I don't think so. Paris watches so much of that shit. Really? Yeah, it's like all it reviews basically every video game in the nineteen nineties. It's like you get to report. I just wanted to on too. So it's like now I can like I pretty much know. So because of it, like, you, you pretty much kind of, like, know every video game from the 1990s. I feel like video games from the 1990s are, like, canonical knowledge in that, in that, like, you feel like you're not a real person unless you know all of them. Yeah. It's, like, just as canonical as, say, Civil War battles or something. Do you keep in touch with anyone else? Can we go more? Like, Jacob Collins, he's in this area. He lives in this area now? Yeah, he's he moving back from Atlanta. I didn't know that. Oh, um, is he still. What What? What was he working on? Some, like. Aerospace stuff? Some, like, sales, sailing startup or whatever. Sales? Sailing startup or, or whatever. Oh, sailing startup? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. Mm hmm. I, uh, didn't know he had married his... Married? His, uh... He, wait, did he No, I was married? speaking metaphorically. I had, like, he had married his, uh, work in his... Oh, married. His I don't know. Um, how's that? That works for now. I just have yeah, this... Keep track of the screw. Yeah, keep track of the screw. It's like, um, there's like a lens correcting device that can help with it or whatever. Did you go to the lens crafter in Redmond Town Center? I don't know about that. Let me see what the hours are or something. Let's see. Can I help clean this up? Yeah, yeah you can. You need your guidance on what Yeah. You have compost? Oh, it, oh, it's open. It closes at 10 p.m. It's like you can use it, like, bring it in and have it fixed or something. You have compost? Um, compost, it's next to the trash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. trashes and the motherfuckers. You have an iPhone? Okay. No, 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 that's a pixel. Pixel. Oh, yeah, pixel. I have
God, I fucking hope you move like plague spawn or fucking whatever. Oh, wait. You have to keep track of this piece of shit. It's like, you get to keep track of it if you like put it in some motherfucker top. Do you ever expect yourself to ever have a home as big as your parents, ever? Yeah, I don't know. Possibly not. I don't know, it's like, even upon all the super privileged, like, even all the super privileged programmers I know, like, or like, even like, the Google brand employees I know, they live in like, such small spaces, it's so weird. You think it's generational? Part of it's generational. Part of it because they all they all go to the same fuck move to the same fucking overcrowded places. Yeah, so you haven't seen like any kind of exodus from the high density areas? Oh, like, it totally happened. People in my my friends in San Francisco are complaining like fuck. Have they bought houses anywhere else though? I know someone bought houses in New Hampshire. New Hampshire? Yes. Land of the free. Yeah, New Hampshire is where Massachusetts people go and defect and turn blue. You cool? What? No, a little, a little. It has gone. Yeah, people are talking about how, like, after this, uh, people are talking about making the exit this to turn all the red states blue or whatever. Is there, like, yeah. Usually there's, like, a metropolis area that is very. Metropolis. Like Asheville or something, right? Oh, Asheville, Oregon? No, uh... Carolinas, right? Asheville? Oh, that's Cary. Containment before... Command containment area for relocated Yankees. What? Containment area for relocated Yankees. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, have we heard of the interesting feature in North Carolina, Reese's Triangle? Like, do I know people who've, who've moved to research? Or do you know anyone, any cool, cool stuff there? I mean, there's Duke uh, has some, some people who moved there. Duke has some pretty cool protein evolution people. Yeah, yeah. Duke, the bot. Aquaporn and shit. Molecular machines. I like the cold a lot, it makes me more alert. Yeah, outside it's just, I don't know, it's, it can't use a computer as well, usually, so, or Wi Fi. So, it's easier to look shit up on the computer. Do you ever think about riding the bus back to North Shore more? Yes. Okay. How far do you think you could get? I don't know. I mean, driving is not that hard. It's, it's, you're just doing the first day, so... It's a way to do get free public transportation <laughs> if she's some random place. I mean, I'm sure some people know that. They know how to, like, hack free, free public transportation. It's like, certainly something a, hija a hitchhiker might do. Yeah, there's some good ones in the area. Hitchhikers? Or bus school buses? Or Genentech buses? Yeah, Genentech buses. Oh yeah, you just hitchhike to Genentech buses. Except they don't even go, well some of them go far, or you just, I mean, well, like, the good ones I think you can't get on, I think they're pretty good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, 
Victor also took him. They have like a bus like Danville. Danville, okay. It's pretty far away. <laughs> All evolving protein networks are cool except they all evolve the most boring bacteria proteins. I just want to shoot myself before I breed more of a bacteria proteins. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. There's not that many mammalian species. Arrgh. It makes your so fucking boring. Plus, like, our motifs ain't even the same because, like, the bacteria environment is our care bacteria environment is so fucking different. more than five angstroms and more than 15. This totally is him. <laughs> 23rd Avenue South. Uh, what is that? Here 23rd Avenue, it's probably like South Seattle or something. He fucking registered this bitch. He even fell for it too. <laughs> Are you registered? Oh, I think so. I think I just registered my pants. I just like. Do you ever vote? Uh, I voted in this election. I voted in 2016. Oh, you did shit. Yeah, I voted for my hotel in New Jersey. For a hotel? Oh, okay. Yeah. Actually, like, the full of new diversity is in here. Jesus Christ. So I disappoint Hell no, they never pays me. It's so real life. We're also real life. It's nice and sad with you. It's hard to interact with you online, and then we never interact. It makes me sad. It makes me cry. It makes me. Oh, yeah, the problem is fine. So this guy, like. So basically, what I want you to see of this bitch, the this bitch's website is that I want you to see. Motherfucker, I'll do this motherfucker for him, but, like, there's a time when I into the class and I just discovered the word blood and I just smeared all around. Who was the most degenerate student you remember from high school? Most generous? Degenerate. Degenerate. <laughs> do you notice that, do you notice that all the, you, that all the girls are just, you, 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 you get from all the girls and you only know, talk to the guys. Like friends is much harder for girls and guys, do you notice this? Uh yeah, I didn't have a whole lot of female friends from high school. Yeah, I could tell. Just uh Yeah. Fan, I guess. Oh yeah. But I haven't seen Kathy in a couple of years. Yeah. What the fuck? No 
but he has some good, good notes. Um, does he have to top his motherfucker? Oh, notable. It's like, I said it up while I was lying. Um, uh, yeah, he wasted them, I'm sure, like everyone else did. Rapidly as I refuse to come to terms. Yeah, take, well, doing this you is more fun. Like, you feel like read research papers with someone who actually makes reading the research papers fun. Like, that's, that's I mean, that's journal bashing. Like, Matt Caberlin actually makes, makes, um, well, journal bashing, the only, the only, the only way to make reading research papers fun is just to journal bash. Like, you do it with Matt Caberlin or Michael Rhodes or whatever, fucking bitch. Son of a bitch. Well, you know, you talk to people about the science they put their theme. Oh yeah, the theme. Well, yeah, the theme like bash. You just bash the papers. Oh, genetics. Do you have journal clubs? Not actually. Not there's not a lot of proper journal clubs in uh, the lab. There's a deep learning journal club. Deep learning. Do you ever want? Do you ever read that? Yeah. Is it interesting? Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Most no oh, reviving patronage and revolution of science. This is actually pretty important. Like, so the, some people say, so the Acon time short, can't be Acon short or whatever. Oh, that's true. Are you happier or fatter than you were several years ago? I must be less sad. Oh, why? You're just busy, find the fun. Or if you're just not being abused by your PI. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason. Yeah. Well, there was a period when it got bad enough to affect me. People are like remixing, doing ways in that to like transform people's voices into other people's voices. Okay. Really music style, but that's something people really like in music. Yeah, that's what more Spotify ran those. <laughs> I am the I great mighty Pooh, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. Who's gonna fight now that you can just cancel the book now? Are you to buy a fish and from my chocolate selfish? How about some statues? You can just do it. And do it every December. You can just do it. You can just cancel and reschedule. I don't know if they are partially, but not directly. Surviving, yeah. <laughs> This 
This is a fast forward entry of them all. Really? Yes. That has there's a bird watching come on it? No, there's a, someone who's named who's named bird. bird or whatever. So it's all, that was a that was the funnest of them all, but I mean you can just look at this or whatever. I have a Mormon friend who's like fun to handle this. I don't know. You, most of your, you, I, I know you're, you're like really bro with most of your friends, and it's really great and awesome. Actually, I appreciate it a lot. Good. Yeah, well, like with Suzu so, so and whatever. Like you have mostly guy friends, and it's actually refreshing in some ways. Like you don't, you don't really intellectualize with them, that wasn't bad much. You just talk about about work for shit, but it's actually really, really mean. I don't know, like the people you get close to and people I get close to are so totally different people. But you're you're fun with your handles and you, and you stay there and you just you don't get married or shit. You don't you don't get married and drift away. You actually like you're still there all the time with everyone else. You just become more like this point in the game. Yeah, yeah. Wow, all these photographs of actors. So what year was this? What year was what? 1998 or something? It's what? a 1997 game. 1997? No, 1995. That's pretty Whoa. good for 1995. Yeah. It's awesome. actually my favorite game. Oh, one of my favorite games. Like, I just keep on... I also have a, I have a, I have an ex-Mormon friend who's like... One of my closest friends now is like a Mormon. Or ex-Mormon. Really? Yeah, I want to play out with him. <laughs> that sound effect is like... Gonna haunt me forever now. Wow. Okay. Is there no keyboard shortcuts for this? It's really no, there's no keyboard it's shortcuts. It's like the easiest game oh, ever. I don't want to sell something. I think I get a huge headache after playing at that speed for like two hours. Two X. Oh, you you have it on two X? Oh, that explains it. Okay. Good, good move. Oh, wait, wait. It's normal. Oh, yeah, that's shit. normal. Cause like, look, I think you do this. Oh, holy shit! Dude, there, there are these. <laughs> oh my god! I never knew this piece of shit. Oh my god! There are keyboard shortcuts. Shift on, shift comma. Yeah, actually, Rescue Time shows they spend yeah, more time on YouTube than ever. It's a little right tragic. There. Also, it's also because they, put, they just post all the lectures on YouTube these days. Do you ever watch Broden's two watch fucking stuff. lectures? <laughs> Very occasionally. I know you never went, I never knew you never went to the meet at my meetings or whatever. Oh, uh, I went to a couple of them. Yeah, only a couple. I probably should have gone to more, but... They're all recorded anyway, so fuck it. Whoa, if so you just looped around. Wait, so do you, how much freedom do you have to choose your path in this? Um, you, you can, you can go, you can, yeah, you, you can, you can turn around and then you can take different forks. Let's see. Yeah, I spent a lot more time playing there. Amazon Trail. Amazon Trail, yes, I play, I remember you mentioned about while I played, you asked me if I take any wrong trails. Wrong trails. So you can go so far up the wrong river. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's great. And then, yeah, it's also some magical scenes there. You can kind of die, but it's not the same dying or whatever. Or you, you just fall into oblivion. You don't die. Yeah, you, you get sick. You don't die. And it's just... Yeah, too much teleportation. The blue mist. Yeah, it's... I don't know, it, it has a cool on top of my child's brain. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to pilot. Thank you for wearing the change of clothes. They must stop working. If I do anything, I see you being dismissed. Yeah, we broke. Oh my god. This game's so bad. Oh, I did this before. Do you ever play an Anno game? Anno game? Anno, Anno game. What's that? Anno. It's a German game. Like, is it a strategy game? Yeah, it's a kind of, it's like yes. a city builder. Yes, oh. uh. It's a city builder. Whoa, you just, just while, your, while your allies town center. Oh, call me again. Not you again. Who? Why the Who has a farm here? Yeah, you can just... Why not? Next to you, how do you love this? 
Hang on, let's so, so, look at the situation. <laughs> the situation is really allowing us to do much. Considering Green is their side's troll, I'm not about to question anything. Green? Green is their troll. Not purple? Not purple. Hang on, what? Oh yeah, no, Green is their troll. Hey, you got free food. You got free food. You want food? Yeah. Hundred food will do. What on earth is Green doing? Oh. This is so random. Save him. Save him. So if you were to play Age of Mythology, right now you play Age of Mythology and Master. Or would you play? I just play all of them. Just. Several games at the I just play all of them but several games each and then get bored and one something else. Mm. Are you gonna be in the city any oh yeah, what are your travel plans like? Right, amazing. None right now? None. Um I don't know, I'll, I'll be here for at least until next weekend and then I'll just because I might have some, some medical stuff to do, and then I might consider like visiting San Francisco Bay Area for a few days before coming back to Boston. But I don't know yet. Like Boston's COVID spiking, so. Um. Yeah, you plan to be in Seattle. Seattle. I might come to no, Seattle. No. Yeah. You can definitely visit my place if you want. Wait, I can. Is it COVID blocked? My apartment building. Or, or you're, oh, I can visit your place out. I mean, I can't just need a building, right? Yeah, it's not, there's not much to, there's no one to talk to you know, this. Can you still go to your building? No. Like or someone, are you not allowed to go? Me or you? Both of us. I don't think you're allowed to go okay. at all. Also, RC is so different now. It's not anymore, RC anymore. It's the early institute program lounge. You used to have so many cool people. I miss it so much. Do you still have video game consoles at your place? Consoles? Yeah. No, I never have consoles. Did, oh, you never had them, okay. So my little you play with Fer oh, you play with Ferris. Yeah, I go to Yeah. I didn't do it enough. I feel sad over it. I have a lot of GameCube, which is arguably not the greatest platform of all time. It's in PlayStation now. No, I'm not looking to get towards the mass. I don't think I enjoy that one. Really, so you're like in Seattle during the... During the... Oh wait, are you mostly in Seattle like an entire day? I rarely come out here, so I'm usually in Seattle. But you're in Seattle all the time because of COVID? Yeah. Or are you in an apartment all the time? Where do you go out? I'm either in my apartment or I'm in the lab. Okay, cool. Rarely, yeah, I don't really go anywhere else. And it's Baker's place. It's Baker's. Baker's. Mm -hmm. hmm. How is Jacob Borges now? How's what? Jacob Borges. Oh, Jacob. Yeah. Um, he's real busy. You know, he's trying to trying to finish up. He did some uh, he did some COVID related project screening stuff that was interesting. Um, I met so many people like that. Yeah, but I think the stuff he did was a little bit more interesting than the average. Um. It's very political, of course. It's mm -hmm. like stuff. Um, yeah, it sucks how the timelines have gotten drawn out. Um, what timelines? For PhD graduation? Yeah, and my friends who are still in grad school, I feel like they're going to be in grad school an extra six months, at least because of COVID. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's drawing out all the timelines. Like, I know a friend who says she was lucky to graduate just before COVID. Yeah, there's a lot of weird incentives. It's like, one, everything is slower, and then two, you don't, like, feel like graduation for a lot of the people I know is, like, you need some peer pressure, but you notice they get the peer pressure when you're not in the lab. Mm -hmm. Or, like, you see other people graduate and you get anxiety that you need to graduate. That's a big factor, and that doesn't happen. And, um, 
you know, advisors always want to tie graduation to publication timelines, and then those get drawn out. And um, and then people are like afraid to move on to the next thing. Um, for example, like trying to interview, like basically if you're going to commit to something that's going to take a long time, like a postdoc thing. Um, that's tough to do if you can't visit in person. So some people the interviews they just zoom them. Yeah, but like you need to understand what people are not telling you, like the oh. culture of the place and stuff. Oh, like see, like if people are like working at long hours or not, or they're sleeping in their offices or anything. Like that. Do people sleep in the office in the road? Yeah, well, good is this like shitty policy where like the security guards go around and will wake you up if they see you falling asleep. Okay. So, like, there's certain secret places it turns out you can sleep, but, okay. like, there were never good ones. So, like, where there was a good spot was in McGovern. Like, I had a key to the McGovern lab. Oh, yeah. Uh, through Fung. And so, okay. like, they just had, like, a couch in, like, a room that you could just go sleep on. Yeah, yeah. Anytime. That was great. That was fantastic. Huh. Um, but, uh, I remember one time I was sleeping there, and then... Alex Trevino came in. He's now a grad student. Oh, he must be finishing a book okay. Greenleaf at Stanford. Oh, oh shit, that dude. And uh, he like picked up his acoustic guitar that was there that was missing a string, and he was okay. like, he like played some song that he was gonna like play on his cross. Like before grad school, he like went on some farewell tour with his like undergrad band. Okay. Or something. He's like, let me show you this song. Like, let me show you this. He like played this thing. And I was like, I think I was like half asleep. Uh, just like laying down there. Um, that was a long time. house. Okay. Um, supposed to be writing, supposed to be writing this, finishing this paper from, from Boston. Oh, you have more optical screening? Yeah, like a protocol paper. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's not super interesting, but. Oh, protocol, more protocol papers. Yeah, okay. Have you heard much from Emerald Cloud? Emerald Cloud? Lines. Yeah, yeah. No, I haven't. I'm actually kind of curious. They still exist? Yeah, uh, yeah, they do. Um, oh, there's this one person I follow now. He's really cool. Um, I wonder what you think of this dude. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, like the founder like came to the road at one point. Are you optimistic about E Room's law at any point, or are you still not? Oh wow, what the fuck did this get? Optimistic about whose law? Did anybody unfollow you after the vulgar comments to Yosha Bar? So what? Like, did anybody unfollow you after your comments to your show? I don't know. I don't think they know. I've, I've posted much at your shit, but it didn't get unfollowed for this guy. Whoa, this. Oh, yeah. Taiwan is like increasingly <laughs> cool, which means China's getting intensely irritated at it. I heard the recursion pharmaceuticals. Yeah, you know, I missed my opportunity to go there. Really? Uh, I feel like I could have done a fake interview. Fake like, interview? A better one off there? Like, I like. Oh, yeah, do you do any of I, these? Do you do any of these? Well, let me read this. Oh, I'm a troll. Oh, I am doing screen lint to aging. I guess they do that now with Calico. Oh, you? Oh, they they are doing it now. They 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 developed some some breast cancer drug or whatever. Is it recursion? No, Calico just has a new drug out. But Jesus okay. Christ! Do you have any? Do you have any faith in? Do you have any faith that we can f soon introduce designer drug protein to treat human tissue? Introduce designer like you mean delivery? Or yeah, or? yeah, delivery. Delivery proteins. I 
mean, I feel like there's more likely to happen with peptides. I think there's like some really basic, you know, so it's sort of a fuzzy. Oh yeah, peptides. Yeah, they're hard to get in thing, cells. But I think non. I think there's a lot of possibility with, you know, in, among the things in the bagel lab. This is kind of going on a limb. I'm not really qualified to say this, but therapeutic stuff, like. I mean, you know, in some ways they can, so, so like the traditional, like binders, like the COVID binders, you know, in some ways they can improve on antibodies. It's not clear to me how much of that could also be done by just engineering antibodies a little bit smarter. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Probably a lot of antibody evolution. I mean, those two things are kind of parallel to the delivery. But then I think the unknown is like uh, peptide design. So like small peptides and peptides involving non-canonical amino acids. Oh yeah, holy shit. Wait, how do you synthesize non canonical amino acid peptides? You ask Wu Shi to do it. Who's Wu Shi? It's like the biggest CIO from China. The biggest what? Contract research organization. Okay, Wu Shi. Um, I think. Anyway, um, the, the, uh, I mean, linear peptides are just synthesized by. Linear peptides are but, synthesized by hydrolysis, okay. But, um, no, they're condensed or whatever. Condensed, linear hydrolysis. I'm not against. Okay, but okay. I actually don't know how, how the cyclic ones are synthesized. Cyclic and MP, cyclic, oh, cyclic peptides, like macro loop peptides or whatever. Microcyclic. Oh, macrocyclic, okay. okay. Um, I, I don't, okay. Know, I don't okay. know about it, but I think it has a lot of potential because I think people, like, don't. People don't what? People are still learning the design rules. Okay. Um, but, like, they're a lot, it's a lot smaller space than full on protein folding. Design real, oh, more, more design, okay. And, um, and it has a potential just, you know, like, there are example molecules from nature that, like, do the job. They, like, cross into tissues. So, um, possible. Where the proteins actually, like, interact with the cellular and, and so the, the membrane, or like you get between intermembrane spaces. Or yeah, that's probably what they designed for, is for those molecules can do that. They can cross membranes. Um, we will go inside membranes, be attached, for an isolation, intermembranes. For an isolation is like the you know, contribution to something that's you know, in, in a membrane, but um, I don't know. I, I think they can. I, I don't actually know about this area. Mm -hmm. Like, can they target a part of the protein that's resides inside of a membrane. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to see. Like, so. proteins that specifically, I want to see protein, proteins that specifically, like, recognize damaged proteins and damaged DNA. With better versions that, like, better versions, once I can pr recognize lipofuscin or, like, junk, gunk, um... How do you feel about the senescent cell hypothesis? Um, it's kind of interesting, but it's no, not Yuri the... Yuri Alon's really into it. What? Yuri Alon? Yeah, it... when I was in Berlin, he, oh. he presented. Oh, his I presentation see. presentation was about his model of senescent cells. I don't think senescent cells are the cause of aging, and I also don't think they're, they're like, the most important factor in aging, especially in meta metabolically healthy individuals. There are a lot of other factors that are more central, more fundamental. Is senescent is just more important for people who just eat shitty, eat shitty, eat shitty, eat shitty diets. Let me know. I'm going to go back to Seattle probably early tomorrow or something like that. Okay, okay. But, you know, I'll be around. So if you're, the, if you're anywhere in the E-District, hit me up as they say. Okay, awesome. Yeah. When, when, during the daytime? Just give me some advance. Okay. If you can, give me advance notice because I'm coordinating experiments. Okay, it's oh, too, experiments. It's too, it's too oh, experiments for what? Um, some new high throughput protein assay stuff. Assay for... Uh, for accurate design, for good protein properties. That's oh, it. yeah. Assays for protein, print, like what solubility, membrane. Oh my god, that was genius. Yeah, solubility. Exactly. That's that's one of the key properties. Okay. Yeah. Um. Things that are hard to screen for by display technologies. Display technologies like. Like yeast or ribosome display. Well, what's display? Display is like you have a, s a cell or, or something that can that can translate a protein, and it 
you just have the gene on the inside of the cell or whatever it is and the protein on the outside and then you select you do like a pure you pull on the you bind to the protein on the outside and then you sequence the cells that are bound you bind to the protein on the outside by antibodies or what um depends what you're selecting for by antibodies okay. or if you're like so for example like the covid binders okay were developed by having free spike protein okay um that is labeled and then it's that's on the outside of the cell, and if it binds to the COVID binder, which is displayed on the cell, then they sort the cells. Okay. That's those ones. So then they, then they, then they count um, how often different designs bind. Um, so anyway, that's great, but it doesn't measure things like solubility. So. Oh, okay. What about, um, oh yeah, aggregation, ability to aggregate. Oh my god, Alex, you're a double genius. That's another key thing. Yeah, aggregation. And uh, formation of complexes. Those things don't really get formed on surfaces. Oh, because so, everything's on the surface. So you're actually saying the properties inside the cell. Well, that's the thing, is that the, surf the surface display is just used as a means surface to, display. Oh, to yeah. select things that are ultimately going to be inside of a cell or mm -hmm. going to be freely expressed in solution. Mm -hmm. So, or, you know, just free in solution. So um, that's, the, that's the gist of the project, is to screen, develop new screening methods. Just for those. But those are just so basic. It's not even, you're not even screening for function. That's right, but... Just because it's basic doesn't mean that people have figured it out. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, the oligomerization is closely related, related to the function. Like how they float on top of each other, how the beta sheets end. What about screening for ability to be di digested by um, lysosomes or...? Um, yeah, no, that's a good, so, like, stability. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, stability to proteases. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so people have tried to screen this on the surface of yeast, and, like, for some systems it works, but for some systems it seems like it doesn't work. What about uh, screening uh, for how easily damaged it is? For an ROS. It's kind of, oh, by ROS? Yeah. Green by, yeah, and stability. I don't think that people necessarily care about ROS damage for most of uh -huh. the applications of design proteins. Okay. They do care about stability and like blood scene. Yeah, yeah. Blood like blood if you have too much lysine or cysteine in the protein, then it gets easily cross-linked or hit by our or whatever. <laughs> what about screen for protein protein interactions? Um, well, I mean, the binding assays are kind of like that, if okay. you have one in mind. If you, but if you're talking about non-specific interactions, like avoiding non-specific interactions. Yeah, yeah. It's a good question. I don't know that this is the way to do it, but um, I suppose maybe you could. Okay. Maybe you get at it. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, uh, okay.